Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robinhood portfolio. What I thought I would do today is talk a little bit about the stock market with regards to the record run. As you guys know, the stock market has been eclipsing all-time highs over the past couple of weeks with a pretty historic run of 9 or 10 days in the green, which isn't real typical of the market as a whole in general. So I thought I'd just kind of talk about what I'm, I'm going to be doing with my portfolio and then maybe solicit some advice or some opinion on what you guys are going to be doing with your portfolios moving forward as well. So I just typed in S&P 500 into the search index to take a look at some S&P 500 ETFs. This is a very good way of taking a look at the market as a whole. Uh, SPY is a very good ETF. If you look on the bottom there below my logo, you can see this is essentially an ETF tracking a market cap weighted index of U.S. large and mid-cap stocks selected by the S&P committee. So this is a very good way of taking a look at how the market overall with regards to an index has been doing. And if we take a look at the one-year graph since the election on November 8th, you can see you know, very, very good performance. This has been exceptional performance. You can see leading up to the election, a little bit of market uncertainty. It actually dipped quite dramatically there. Uh, preceding the election, but it's kind of taken off since that time. And like I said, it's been essentially reaching all-time highs for the past week. And over the last five years, it's been exceptional growth. Again, this period of time in here leading up to the, uh, well, actually, but right in here, we can start with January, leading up to the election, a little bit of uncertainty here. Now, there's a few things that happened here I'm not going to talk about, but right in this area here, a little bit uh, better seen on the one-year graph, leading up to the election was pretty stagnant actually trending down a bit collapsing before the election and then since the election it's really taken off so i kind of want to talk about what's been happening since that time uh, as you guys know the markets are really dictated by market sediment uh, fear or optimism in the market it really doesn't have to necessarily do with the underlying company's balance sheet so just a very quick example uh a company that uh, has historically done well on balance sheets but maybe has had some negative press uh, whether founded or not, can really tank a stock's price, even though the uh, balance sheet looks great. On the flip side of that, uh, kind of going along with pump and dump schemes, a lot of market optimism for a stock, whether that's, you know, again, justified or not by the underlying balance sheet, will essentially make that stock rise. And I think that's what's kind of happening here. So a lot of investors right now have a lot of optimism with the current administration in office. That optimism has to do with the rollback of of all sorts of different regulations. Uh, as we saw with the financial stocks, the uh, talk of rolling back some financial regulations really shot those stocks up. A few of my stocks were up 20%. Wells Fargo was at one point up 15, 20%. And really that's before any policy changes has happened. So again, it doesn't really relate to what's happening. It really relates to what the market perceives or prognosticates moving forward. So I think that's what's happening right now. There's a lot of anticipation of, of uh, rollbacks within the uh, business community in general, uh, not just necessarily the financials, but also in the in energy industry, uh, the EPA regulations. There's a whole thing, a whole assortment and constellation of different uh, policies out there that are, you know, really bolstering this market. So the question is, what should we do moving forward? So. I don't advocate market timing, but if I was going to do a market timing strategy, I think this would be the perfect point to do this. The markets are at all-time highs. A lot of the markets are propped up on simply optimism and confidence rather than you know, policy changes. At the moment, there's been really no big policy changes. If anything, there's been some very inflammatory politics coming out of the White House. And despite all of that, the market has really ramped up here. So I think this is an artificial uh, uh, escalation here. I think the market is going to trend back. I I could definitely see it trending back 10% or so. You know, if you figure since uh, November here till now, that's been up quite a bit of uh, percentage points. So I think what I'm going to be doing is taking a lot of my uh, stocks that have done well. I'm going to sell off some. I'm going to keep a lot of cash available. I'm going to wait until the market trends back. And when it does, I'm going to uh, average down and dollar cost average a lot of my stocks. So I think I'm going to take a very conservative approach over the next month or two and really trying to anticipate, trying to time the market. Again, I don't necessarily think that's a great long-term uh, strategy, but with everything put in place right now with the new pr presidential administration, the election, the confidence in some of the policies that are 
you know, uh, optimistically going to uh, help business without those actually happening of, uh, of present, I think that if there's any hiccups in any of that, the market's going to pull back quite considerably. And I'm going to try to take advantage and do a little bit of a market timing there. But uh, yeah, like I said, I wanted to solicit some opinion from you guys. Are you guys uh, on board with this market? Do you think this is going to continue to trend up with a lot of confidence in the market, uh, and potentially with the rollback of a lot of the uh, regulations? The uh, business community can really you know, support that with their balance sheets as well. But having uh, said all that, nothing has been done so far. This is all just sort of optimism in the market. So I'm going to be keeping a lot of funds in cash. I think I'm going to be selling off some of my positions that have done very well and waiting for the market to pull back, then going in full steam ahead again and purchasing back a lot of the uh, securities I sold off as well as averaging down a lot of my other positions. So let me know what you guys are doing with your portfolios. If you're going to be a little bit less conservative and put money in now, trying to uh, uh, ride the momentum, are you guys going to do what I'm doing, being very conservative, uh, keeping some cash on the sidelines and waiting to uh, make a play when things uh, pull back. Kind of a market timing strategy. Again, not a great long term. I don't want you guys to think I am a proponent of that, but I think with everything in place, you know, the very inflammatory uh, political climate, the uh, uh, reality that a lot of these regulations have not been reversed. Uh, there's, you know, a lot of confidence that they, that they will be reversed, but they haven't happened yet. And a lot of these companies are trading at all-time highs with regards to price valuation. So all those things kind of are forming, a, in at least in my mind, a tsunami of a market pullback here. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Let me know what you guys are doing with your portfolios. And yeah, kind of with that, I'll end the video. As always, if you enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. The whole point of these video series is to learn about the market. I'm learning a ton. I hope you guys have been learning as well. And until next video, we'll see you guys then.